name's Sean Cancel. I'm from Mullaway and I was a professional surfer from about 17 to 28, around about, yeah. I loved growing up in Mullaway. As a kid, there was a bunch of little spots in within Mullaway there, that just little beaches there. Um, and you just call up your mates and see what spot was working on the day or whatever. And yeah, there's so many little headlands along this coast, part of the coast. It's, um, it's yeah, it's always pretty consistent. You can kind of find a little spot out of the wind, and it's been pretty relatively uncrowded for so many years now. It's starting to get a bit more crowded these days, but still, still pretty good. <laughs> If you're visiting the area, I think anywhere from sort of Red Rock to Sawtell, it's got plenty of headlands to choose from. It's pretty gold because you can find pretty uncrowded and nice wave. There's so many beautiful beaches within Coffs area and sort of a little piece of paradise, I guess. It's, you've got sort of mountains right on the coast and caravan parks and stuff to families to come and visit. And if you want to sort of have, have uncrowded beaches, you've, you've got that. Any kind of east swell lights up a, a lot of spots, I think. Um, the south swell is it sort of tends to be just a few spots that are work look and they can be a bit more crowded. There's a view sort of overlooking the town, Bruxner Park. There's a beautiful view up of the Whoopi headland. Um, it's really sort of 360 sort of view. You can sort of see all the way north and south. So it's a pretty, pretty awesome view, that one. But Bruxton Park sort of overlooks the town of Coffs and looks south, so that's a pretty nice view up there. It's sort of up on the top of one of the, one of the mountains sort of back there. And yeah, if there's one place you're gonna visit in Coffs, it's probably the Big Banana. Can't miss it, it's on the highway. <laughs> Get a photo. <laughs>